Good morning, everybody. There's been quite a lot of controversy around this carpet, and in the course of this Facebook Live, you will be able to tell for yourself how it works. Right now, this portion of the carpet is under wraps still, and uh, they've taken away the uh, all the tape, and this is ready to go. I'm standing right now in the area where the stars come out through the metal detectors which are behind that red curtain and they come out here and the first stop is to pose for pictures you can see upi people magazine all of the various outlets the print and web outlets wwd women's wear daily usa today and the new york times photographers will be clicking madly calling out to the stars by name, hoping for a smile in the direction of their still cameras. So that all happens here. Now we've had rain the past few days, heavy rain yesterday, and that's why this Oscar is still under wraps. And uh, look at this though, these beautiful roses. Yesterday afternoon I was here and there were people literally putting roses in individually here and it's going to look very, very good on TV and you're going to see very soon a carpet the way it looks. I'm going to ask uh, Mike to uh, go backwards here. This is right here our ABC position. This is where George Pinocchio and I will be on Oscar's red carpet. We have the Canadians traditionally next to us and next to that KABC on the red carpet. It's many hours before the show that George hosts. I come in with my predictions just before Eyewitness News Live at 5. That's going to happen here this afternoon. Mike Thorne behind the camera and Mike's just about to step onto the carpet. Look at this. This is what it looks like. I'm going to ask Mike to pan all the way down. This is it. What do you think folks? This is the carpet. This is where the stars will come. It's a lighter color because the idea is that it shows fashion a little better. That's exactly how it works. And now we have one of these statues here with beautiful roses and you can see how it looks. No more Oscar under wraps. And uh, this is how it looks. Joining me now, producer Alex Dirkman who has been doing such a great job here. And we're gonna to turn towards the light. There we go. I wanna ask you, your first Oscar, what are your thoughts? My thought, my, my first thought was how grand and how long the carpet is. Um, because you only see so much on television and in the broadcast, but to see how far the stars have to actually walk to get to the stairs to move into the Dolby, it's, it's a long walk. And it's probably one of the more intimidating ones, um, you know, in terms of award shows. A lot of width here. You can see this is, as Alex just said, a long, long walk that Mike just showed you. What do you think of the carpet? I think the fashion's going to pop on it. I mean, just as we've seen, you know, anchors, reporters out here, you know, previewing the events, just then, you know, with all of the color, it's really popped on the carpet. I see? think it's going to be fine. Interesting. I think it's also going to get some interest going in the show. You know, there's been a lot of talk on social media, and what no one has said is all that talk is going to generate interest. You know, it's interesting. Our press aide, Luke Dental, did a deep dive into the internet, and some said, well, it's not the Oscars without the red carpet. Others said it might get dirty. The, and then still others said, you know, the fashion's going to pop, and after all, the red carpet is so dated. So you're going to have an opinion, and one of the reasons that Bob Monick thought that you would like to see this Facebook Live this morning. Our ace web guy, Bob Monick, is in charge always. And uh, he thought that you'd be able to judge for yourself. Now, it's going to work a lot better. It's an empty carpet now, and you can't tell much with my jacket. Speaking of which, this is from Oscar 75. That was 20 years ago of wearing this jacket. Michelle Charlesworth, one of our morning anchors, always loves me to wear the jacket so i bring it just for that one show and uh this is what we call oscar swag none of that this year because uh in actual fact uh, the pandemic killed the oscar swag for a few years i hope they bring it back caps memorabilia it helps you think about and remember that Oscar. But uh, this is 75, very memorable. This is 95. Those every five-year Oscars, they really seem to be memorable. And uh, 
Very interestingly, Glenn Weiss, who is the producer of the, tonight's show, co-producer, he, the man in charge, really, he and I worked back in 1980. And he came to me after the press conference with all of the people involved, and he said, I'm going to say one thing to you. And he said, a number, 2133. And 2133, Wisconsin, was the home of the first CNN DC bureau. And that's where Glenn worked as a 20-year-old. I was uh, 23 at the time. So we've, uh, we've come a distance since then, but it was a lovely moment. And that's how I remember Oscars. The fact is, there's always one or two moments that you remember. And, uh, and, and that's how, rather than the films, it's those moments on the carpet. I've often said that if you get on this carpet two hours before the big show and you don't feel a big thrill, then you should just go home and, in my case, just hang it up. But it hasn't happened yet because I truly feel very excited. Okay, we're going to take you on a tour of the rest of this carpet. Over here is an interview position. That's a boom camera behind it. And again, you can see in the background these drapes. Now, this is a big break with tradition because this used to have a clear roof. And this time, they have decided to go day for night, meaning that during the day, during the afternoon, when the show starts, in here, it'll still be an elegant evening. And uh, that's, the, that's the thinking here. Now, we're going to walk. You've seen quite enough of me in this Facebook Live. So we're going to show you right here. This is the stands. There used to be many more fans. And I hope they bring back uh, the bigger stands one year. But this is where the spectators will be behind this series of Oscars here. There is, let's see if we can just look over and see that's where the spectators will be. It's a much smaller, if you're a veteran Oscar watcher and you know that the stands have been packed, hundreds of people, looks to be just a couple of dozen. And that is, again, a choice of the Academy. They determine all of this stuff. We are taking the very same walk this morning that the stars will take. And as Al you heard Alex Dirkman, our producer, say, it's a long walk. So we've been at this a few minutes, and we're just past halfway on this carpet, and we're less than halfway still to get to the theater, as you will see. So we're walking up. This is the exact same walk. It will look like this. There will be more lights on, but it's basically the same walk as the stars will take. Difference being that these stands will be packed with people, these press stands and equipment. This is what gets tighter every single year. Now, Mike, if you could just show us, that's where we've come. Look how far we've come just in this, this Facebook Live. And um, we've still got a ways to go before they get to the theater. So we're going to keep going. And we're going to go up here where it says keep off the stage, which we will do. That is the main interview area with the Shining Oscar, and that will be fully lit. Then they make a hard right turn coming off of the pet camp. What? Oh, uh, they don't. What, what we did there was uh, Mike um, started to show you the entrance to the theater, and security said that we are not allowed to do that anymore on this Oscar show. But. It's a hard right turn off of the carpet and a long walk up some stairs where uh, ladies in gowns and high heels best be very careful all the way up into the Dolby Theater. But again, we are not allowed to show that. So this is Oscar morning. This is one of my favorite times. It's right before all the people get here. We are between live shots on Eyewitness News right now. And you can reflect and think about what's coming and just appreciate the vastness of this. When I started doing this, literally, you would take a tripod and bring it out in the morning at like 3 in the morning to get a good position. Now these spots are all assigned around Thanksgiving time of the previous year. And it's become, I would say, in the years I've been doing it, I did my first Oscar show 40 years ago. Tootsie, 
Dustin Hoffman was nominated. I interviewed him. That was my first live interview ever on the carpet. It was downtown at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. It was less of a big deal. Every year, it gets a little more of a big deal, a few more people, and uh, it keeps the excitement level up. It's even changed since this jacket was sold to me by the Academy for uh, the 75th year. I'm looking to forward to Oscar 95. It's time now to get set up for my predictions on Eyewitness News Live. So we're going to say for now, for Facebook Live, goodbye from Oscar's champagne-colored carpet outside the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Have a great morning.